Hello everyone and thank you very much for coming to this screencast um, about continuous documentation with Jenkins, ASCII, Doctor and Gradle. Pro, um, my name is uh, Alex Soto, I'm a software engineer at CloudBees and I'm an open source advocate. You can find me in several uh, open source projects and yeah, you can find me in my Twitter which is Alex Soto B. Uh, probably um, all of you are using uh, continuous integration or continuous delivery for building and uh, delivering your applications. Uh, some of the steps that typically a uh, delivery pipeline is composed are, for example, the um, compile uh, a step, test a step, running acceptance test, um, um, a static analysis of your code, um, you know, deploying this to several environments to run more tests and finally deploying to uh, production. But um, one step that usually miss is the uh, publishing of the documentation of your application. Documentation is usually out of the scope of the continuous delivery pipeline and this means that it can be difficult to maintain it updated with the latest changes. And some of the things that can become updated could be the code that you are embedding inside the documentation in case you want to show some examples or for example uh, the screenshots of your application that if you change the UI then these uh, changes are not reflected on the final manuals. Uh, or another example that could happen is that it's uh, delivered in the wrong place since uh, the documentation is generated uh, manually then it needs to be uploaded manually and this means that maybe you blur it in the wrong place. Um, yeah, uh, automating uh, the creation and the publication of the documentation is not hard if you are using uh, lightweight uh, markup language for writing it. Uh, and in this sense, uh, I think that one of the best um, markup language for writing and publishing documentation is um, ASCII doc and uh, ASCII doctor. Uh, toolchain. Basically, ASCII Doctor is a fast text processor uh, and publishing toolchain for comparing ASCII doc format to HTML5, DocBook, PDF, or Movi, or even you can extend it to your uh, own format. So, uh, in this example, uh, what we're going to see is how um, ASCII Doctor, Radial, and Jenkins can be used to add documentation and in, uh, into your continuous delivery pipeline. And just in this concrete example, it's the creation of a, a technical manual for the to-do project. Uh, let's, see the, let's see the application. It's a very simple um, to-do application, but you can see here, learn uh, ASCII doctor, for example, and then you can add uh, another, for example, um, learn Gradle or learn Jenkins. It's a simple to do application. And our manual will look something like this. Notice that this is the name of the application. The first thing that is quite important is that the version, this version is updated automatically when you uh, um, release or render the, the um, documentation. Then here is a lot of content and finally here you can see a screenshot and here is another screenshot and the good thing is that these screenshots are generated dynamically. Uh, finally you can see here this is uh, the example of the to-do and in this case I'm adding here the class that I'm using in the server side to receive the to-dos and notice that this class is a real class, the class that is being executed and finally, here is the JSON documentation where you can again see uh, the, in this case, the get to do endpoint that has no body and the response is an application JSON which responds uh, to uh, 100OK and this is the uh, JSON um, document that is sent back. And again, this content is dynamically generated. So every time that you generate the documentation, everything it's automatically updated to the latest versions. To see how this ASCII doc um, document looks like, let's open here. 
let's put it here. Notice that the first thing that I'm putting here is project version. Um, using this uh, tag, the, uh, in this case, the Gradle plugin automatically injects the version of the project. So when you go here, you can see that the version is automatically updated. Then it, here is um, all the content that we have seen. And finally, here it's really important. It's the screenshot. What I'm saying is open a browser to this URL. This URL is an attribute that is passed from our built script and take a screenshot and embed it here. Then it's a bit of more content. And then we are creating a gap um, block. Gap is a groovy uh, framework which is, which is built atop of a web driver, so learning web driver, which allows us to uh, basically use jQuery um, style syntax to navigate through the web pages. So basically what it's saying is, this is a screenshot that I've opened before, find an input with name edit, add learn Jenkins pipeline and push enter. And put this into a screenshot. And then here it generates the second screenshot. So for this reason, when we go here and we see the screenshots that say, go to the default page, and this is the default page, and finally say, okay, add learn Jenkins pipeline and push enter. And notice that the enter is produced because here we can add another to do. Another thing that is automatically generated is the source code. And the source code, in this case, it's as easy as say include inside um, source block and say include the root deer, which basically root deer is something that build uh, script provide us. Uh, source deer, which is source main Java. And then you set org to do to the resource.java with text documentation. This means that if we go, we go here to the source code and we open the to-do, I've added here, uh, sorry, this here. What I've done is added a tag called documentation and a tag and documentation. And this means that when I include something, I only want to include the both things that are between these tags and not adding the imports because it's not necessary at all. And finally, Notice here that I'm including an, another, docu another document. This document, it's generated by uh, JAX Arrays Analyzer. JAX Arrays Analyzer is an analyzer that takes a, a JAX Arrays REST endpoint and generates this kind of documentation. But the, the good part about this is this attribute, level offset plus two. Since JAX Arrays it generates an ASCII doc document, but this document, its root element, it's you know, it's it's the, the, the title of the um, of the document. And in this case, what we want to do is inject this uh, or embed this document inside another document. I'm saying, okay, shift two levels the document, so it fits pretty well in this other uh, document. This is one thing, this is the ASCII doc. Then we need to render this ASCII doc. And this is done uh, in this case using Gradle and using the ASCII doctor plugin and um, ASCII doctor J screenshot plugin. Notice that here I have two plugins. Uh, define it in my um, Gradle script, which says, I want to use ASCII doctor Gradle plugin and ASCII doctor J screenshot extension, which basically is the, the responsible of, of taking the screenshots. And then um, I apply the plugin of ASCII doc. I say that the ASCII doctor or ASCII doc files are on source main ASCII doc. I put here root deer, which is the root deer of the project. So this root deer is the variable that is used uh, here. And finally, I'm uh, generating the application URL. This is where the application is deployed so I can take the screenshots. And in this case, since I'm using uh, Docker machine, it's in, on this IP. I could do with Gradle some smart things to get the IP automatically, but for this example, it's, it's enough. And then this application URL is the one that I'm using in uh, this screenshot. 
And then finally, I create a task which is called generate manual, which depends on generate JAXRS documentation, which is the JAXRS analyzer that launches this uh, command line and uh, it creates as output the to do rest.adoc. And this file is the one that is included here. And that's all. Only with this, we have everything automated. To see it online, I have here a Jenkins 2 installed with a Jenkins pipeline, which it's execute. Uh, here you can see that it execute. Well, uh, basically it it gets the the source code from the CM. It compiles the Java. It includes the source files. Then it could come the commit test, the code quality stage, and finally I have here an, an a stage called documentation, which gets the source code, generates the manual. And finally, it published as HTML into the Jenkins. So after this step, any uh, technical uh, reviewer or, or, or technical writer can review the output and see that it's really the, the last one. Uh, I can push here, build now. Then, uh, in this case, the project is being compiled. These steps are simulated and now I'm generating documentation and remember that I said that GAP is a, um, a wrapper on top of web driver. So you, you will uh, see now how a uh, browser is a start, uh, the application is, is showed, the screenshots are taken and our, the documentation is produced. Now the screenshots are taken and the documents are produced. And now if I go to manual, I can read the manual. Notice that the version is updated always with the version that is given by Riddle. The screenshot is the one that we have seen. And here is the two of the sources. And finally, and finally the JAXRS analyzer output is also embedded here. So if you want to... Uh, See this example, you can go to my uh, GitHub account, which is lots of the jars, and um, yeah, see that example. Thank you very much.